Hey everybody, it is Scott here from GearRules.com. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick little review of one of my favorite everyday carry keychain items. It is a flashlight by the company Olight. It is the i1R2 EOS flashlight. It really packs a punch and I've really enjoyed having it on my keychain. I plan on keeping it on my keychain and I'll kind of dive into why that is. So I hope you guys enjoy this review, and if you like this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below, and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. One last thing is I'll post a link down below, so if you want to see this flashlight, maybe a couple others by the company Olight, I'll give you that opportunity as well. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Take care. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty. Like I said in the intro, this is the rechargeable I1R2 EOS flashlight by the company Olight. Now, that's quite a mouthful in the name, but the two there stands for that this is the second generation of this flashlight the company has made some improvements on it. Um, and this is a perfect day to do the shooting on it because it just started raining, so it's pretty overcast, which will help show the differences in the light settings. First, we'll go get into the specs, and then I'll talk a little bit about what I like and don't like about it. So first and foremost, this flashlight has two major light settings. I guess you could say three. The first is it being off. The second is, and by doing this, you twist, much as the directions say, um, you twist righty tighty lefty loosey righty to the first setting, which is five lumens of light. Um, I would use this if I was walking around the bedroom or when someone's sleeping or if I was walking in the woods and just need to be able to see a little bit. And like I said, that's five lumens. The next one is if you keep twisting until you hit a threshold and it'll become obvious because it gets much brighter. This is 150 lumens. It's uh, equivalent and more powerful than what you would see with your smartphone. And the 150 lumens definitely is if you were looking for something. Um, now this is a very small flashlight as you probably can tell. For reference, here are my keys. It's about the size of a house key. It's very small. And it comes in at a weight of less than half of an ounce. So you probably won't even notice it on your keychain. It has a 70 milliamp battery, and kind of what that means is that it'll give you six hours of runtime, probably on the low light setting, and the full charge from 0% to 100% will take you an hour and 15 minutes to fully charge it. This is according to the company. And last but not least is this uh, flashlight comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee and it gives you that one year warranty. So if you do break it or you don't like it, you can get your money back, which is really nice for this kind of product. Last but not least, the comp this flashlight has an IPX8 waterproof rating, which means you can actually submerge, the submerge this into like a meter's worth of water, which I don't recommend you do, but apparently it can be done. And it's 1.5 meter drop proof, which is awesome. So this thing is pretty darn durable. So let's kind of get into um, my experience with it. I've had it for about six months. As you can probably see with the paint job that it's definitely been banging up against those keys, experiencing some of that wear and tear and it still works great today. One of my biggest concerns was, you know, what if it twists in my pocket and it stays on all the time and it drains its battery? Um, that's definitely not something that happens. I've never had it happen, which is really nice. Um, having the durable drop proof and water resistance makes it awesome. Uh, you don't really have to worry about whether or not you're going to be able to have that. And one thing to mention is if you keep turning left, it'll pop open like this. And this is how you actually charge it. Now, you use a micro USB and you plug it in there 
and there'll be a little LED indication if it was plugged in the wall. It would be red to signify that it's charging. My comment there is that it's really convenient and um, it's awesome and I've had this for six months and I've only really charged it probably twice and I didn't even need to charge it. I just figured that it'd probably be getting low so I'd rather have it charged than have a dead flashlight on my keychain. So it's really convenient to just set your keys down and, and plug it into charge every once in a while. So I really like that, the battery life aspect. It is awesome. Um, never had this thing die on me and it's never just turned on accidentally. Now, a lot of people would be like, why do you need a flashlight if everyone's phones have flashlights? There are instances where you don't have your phone or you need multiple flashlights and this guy has actually come in handy more than a few times. Overall, it's a great product, and I think it's retailing right now for about 17 bucks, so under $20 for this little guy, and uh, it fits perfectly on your keychain. So I'd highly recommend it, and I'll let you guys experience it if you want. Um, I'll leave a link down below if you want to buy it. I think they sell them on Amazon or Olight's website. If you have any comments or questions, something I didn't answer, down below, please subscribe or make a comment. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll try to give more updates on this flashlight and other products. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.